Many women are very concerned about their weight and their body image. This is only natural. At a particular time when women are focused on such issues is at midlife, when they're thinking about hormones, when they're thinking about menopause, when they're thinking about sex, when they're thinking about how they're going to look over the next decade or two or three or four. Weight, that is to say, overweight and obesity are major problems generally in our society. Not only women, it's women and men. But women are focused on this at a particular time when they're extremely vulnerable to excessive weight gain. And the common perception is that hormones make you gain weight. The truth is that everybody gains weight at this stage of their life, but hormones actually reduce the amount of weight one gains and change the distribution of the weight that we all gain to maintain it in a female rather than a male body distribution. So this is a very important misconception and proper management of hormone balancing and hormone therapy can prevent or reduce weight gain and keep it in places where women want it. Beyond just proper menopausal hormone balancing with a focus on preventing increased weight, all of us would like to lose a few pounds. And further, we have a number of endocrine problems and dysregulation that occur in women of all ages. These need to be addressed and addressed and fine-tuned so that women can have the optimal hormonal environment so as not to gain weight. In addition to that, we have a number of both pharmaceutical and behavioral approaches to weight loss. And we can work together to facilitate that weight loss. One of the more common issues in slow and progressive weight gain in a woman's 30s, 40s, and beyond is that their thyroid function is actually not optimal. I didn't say abnormal. I said not optimal. And there are a number of well-meaning physicians of all types that don't care to take the time to optimize hormone therapy for the thyroid and therefore women continue to slowly and progressively gain weight. Whereas optimizing thyroid function can prevent weight gain and also optimize such cosmetic issues as preventing hair loss, uh, preventing hair gain like the kind that I have where it's not wanted, and just optimizing general health.